Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In this video, I will tell you 10 things that you must know about the mitochondria. The sizes of mitochondria range from 0.5 to 1 micrometer. Since the maximum resolution of a light microscope is 200 nanometer, mitochondria are visible under the light microscope, although little to no detail can be seen. However, it requires a proper staining method and a very good piece of light microscope with great magnification and resolution. That's why usually, when we observe a cell under the light microscope, mitochondria are nowhere to be found. A mitochondrion is a double membrane organelle, with the inner membrane folds into structures called cristae. The permeability of the inner membrane and the outer membrane is not the same. The inner membrane is permeable only to water and other small molecules such as oxygen and carbon dioxide. The outer membrane is more permeable to ions and other molecules. It is more similar to the plasma membrane. The intermembrane space has a lower pH compared to the matrix. This is due to the high concentration of protons. When electrons are transferring in the electron transport chain, protons are pumped from the matrix to the intermembrane space. The stock particle can be found on the inner membrane of mitochondria. It contains ATP synthase. As protons return to the mitochondria matrix by facilitated diffusion through ATP synthase, energy is provided for the synthesis of ATP. This movement is known as chemiosmosis. The outer membrane of mitochondrion has carriers for pyruvate and reduced NAD. This is to allow those products from the glycolysis to enter the mitochondrion and take part in the Krebs cycle and oxidative phosphorylation. The mitochondrion contains circular DNA. Unlike the DNA molecules in the nucleus, it is not linear and is lacking histones. In mitochondria, there are 70 S ribosomes. Together with the circular DNA, they are used as evidence to support the theory of endosymbiosis in the history of evolution. Scientists believe that an ancestral eukaryote engulfed an aerobic bacterium, which then evolved into the mitochondrion. That is why a mitochondrion has circular DNA and 70S ribosomes, just like a prokaryotic cell. The mitochondrial DNA is inherited only from the mother. This is because, after the fertilization, the mitochondria of the sperm cell are degraded. The zygote resulting from the fertilization only contains mitochondria from the egg cell. Mitochondria can fuse and divide. It is known as mitochondria fusion and fission. This explains why the sizes of mitochondria in a cell are various. Although some of the proteins in the mitochondrion are coded by the mitochondria DNA, more than 90% of the proteins in the mitochondrion are encoded by genes in the nucleus of the cell. Transcription and translation occur outside of the mitochondrion and these proteins are transported into the mitochondrion afterwards. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.